Located in one of the driest regions of the world, Morocco is increasingly vulnerable to climate change, drought and water scarcity. Its population is largely dependent on agriculture and at risk to extreme heat and weather variability. It is only fitting that Marrakesh will play host to the International COP22 Climate Conference, which will raise attention to these issues and the countries around the globe that increasingly find themselves in similar situations. The Adaptation Fund is helping vulnerable communities in developing countries, like the Oasis Zone in southern Morocco, to adapt and build resilience to climate change with concrete, localized projects. Le projet d'adaptation au changement climatique aussi d'avoir euh, des modèles de projets intégrés auxquels il y aura la participation de l'ensemble des catégories de la population. Donc euh, les enfants, les collégiens, les femmes, les jeunes, les agriculteurs, les, la société civile, les acteurs, autour un peu de cette thématique parce que les oasis c'est le lieu où on ressent en premier. The Adaptation Fund project in Morocco is helping vulnerable populations build resilience to drought by enhancing their adaptive capacity to generate and manage water in a sustainable way. Through an innovative program, it is rebuilding a traditional system of water channels first developed by the Berber people 2,000 years ago. These canals will be used for both agricultural irrigation and community consumption. La zone de Tijda, c'est une zone qui est difficile à ressources en eau, vu le manque des précipitations et la surexploitation des ressources en eau sur le terrain. Et dans ce cadre-là, dans le, le volet de, de l'adaptation au changement climatique, donc on a fait le montage de ce projet qui pourra mobiliser des ressources en eau de surplus pour satisfaire les besoins à court et à moyen et à long terme dans cette zone au profit des agriculteurs via la recharge d'INAP et la recharge d'IRTAL. Donc sur le Wet Tudra, on va réaliser un barrage souterrain sur cette section. Donc on va faire une tranchée de 2 mètres et une hauteur de 3 mètres en moyen, ce qui va permettre de ralentir la vitesse d'écoulement de la crue et par conséquence l'augmentation de la surface de contact des eaux de surface avec la zone d'alimentation de la nappe et comme résultat on aura une augmentation du niveau de la nappe et la recharge artificielle des retards. Le plus important c'est la quantité d'eau qui arrive au bassin. Et donc en fonction de la quantité de l'eau qui arrive dans le bassin c'est là pour la, la superficie qui va être irriguée dans la palmeur. Et plus la superficie il est irriguée, plus la production est importante plus la population en bénéficie. The project is also diversifying jobs through farming cooperatives and women's associations while building awareness of climate issues. منطقة جافة ما يصدق فيها إلا تمر خدام فيها الرجل والمرأة والولد والبنت قبل ما تكون عندنا هذه الواحدة كل في اللحظة يحرص بوحدو يبيع بوحدو جت هذه الواحدة وتنظمت ونفعتنا باش نستفدو من هذيك من هذيك التمر فوضى احنا نضمنا روسنا مشكلة الحضور من بزاف 
الدار عند الشكاره ايت الفيدرانيه عند الشكاره ايت المنزوا عند الشكاره ايت الفلاحه كلشي المهم يدخل الدم على كون التشكار بزاف بزاف الحمد لله سي نبدا الجمعيه نغ... We have been able to witness the enthusiasm and engagement of all the executing partners. Each of them is contributing financially to the project, so that it, that witness the strong engagement of Moroccan associations in uh, climate change adaptation. We have an oversight of the, the portfolio of the adaptation fund projects and we visit them with the implementing entities and we try to share lessons with, with, with the public and with also other, other projects on, on similar issues. Morocco was also the site of two recent adaptation fund regional climate finance readiness workshops aimed at sharing knowledge of climate issues faced by Middle Eastern, North African and Francophone countries. They were designed to foster best practices on accessing climate finance and developing effective adaptation projects that promote environmental and social principles. I come here to share my colleagues their experience and give my experience to my colleagues in other countries. There's many uh, different natures of projects. I learned about the projects in Morocco. I have heard about uh, projects in uh, other countries. The workshops also highlighted the fund's pioneering direct access modality, which gives developing countries the opportunity to access climate finance and develop projects directly through accredited national implementing entities, while building their own capacity to adapt to climate change. The existence of the direct access modality means that we have the confidence to approach a fund on our own behalf to access resources. It means that every penny of the resources made available is made available to the country for use in the country. The Adaptation Fund reached an important milestone when it was included in the Paris Agreement adopted at the COP21 climate conference last year, which stated, the fund may serve the agreement subject to a process that has already begun and will continue at COP22 in Marrakesh. This verified the fund's value in providing effective projects and innovative programs, but it's imperative that this process continues with another positive step forward in Morocco. The Adaptation Fund has two objectives for COP22. One is to become one of the funds serving the Paris Agreement and contributing to its operationalization. And the second one is to achieve financial sustainability so that the fund can continue addressing the adaptation needs of developing countries. The importance and priority of adaptation relative to mitigation was also elevated in Paris. The ambition for it will need to be further accelerated at COP22 in Marrakesh to meet urgent and growing adaptation needs. Climate change extreme events are more and more frequent, so the urgency is greater and greater. It is important that this momentum generated by the growing trend of uh, giving more importance to, to adaptation and centering it at an equal footage with mitigation as part of the global response to climate change. If you want to learn more about our work, please visit the Adaptation Fund website.